Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, explain the purpose of different keywords in Gherkin language. Let me answer. There are several keywords in Gherkin language that is feature, scenario, given, when, then, and, but, scenario, outline, examples, and background. So let me explain all these uh, keywords of this Gherkin language one by one. Before that, uh, what are the tools which can understand this Gherkin language? That is one of the tools is Cucumber. There are several tools in the market. Okay, Cucumber is one of the tools which can understand this Gherkin language and its keywords. So let's get started with uh, each and every keyword that I mentioned here from the Gherkin language. First one is a feature, which is used to define a feature, which is nothing but a high level requirement. Feature is nothing but a high level requirement. So here we have to use feature keyword to define the high level requirement. For example, if I switch to this Eclipse IDE, there is a sample feature file. Under this feature file, there are some sample scenarios created. And before these scenarios are created, in the first line, I have used this feature keyword. What is the purpose of this feature keyword? This keyword belongs to the Gherkin language and why we have specified this here. After specifying this feature keyword, after that, uh, by separating that with a colon symbol, here you have to define the feature. That is nothing but a high level requirement, okay? What this particular feature file is all related to, okay? What type of scenarios, uh, scenarios of which functionality you are going to create under this feature file. That thing you have to write at a high level, okay? Feature is nothing but a high level requirement. You see, all the scenarios belong to the login functionality. So I can say uh, verifying the login functionality in the application. Like that I can define, okay? I can define this feature or this feature file with the help of feature keyword by writing some text beside that, okay? This statement will define what the scenarios are all about in this particular feature file, okay? Hope you got the idea. Now, next one is scenario. You see, for each and every scenario here, we have used the scenario keyword, okay? The scenario keyword, after scenario keyword, you have to write or uh, you have to uh, explain what, what exactly this scenario is all about, what these steps are all about, okay? So this this uh, this scenario is all about login with valid credentials, okay? So we have to define the scenario with this particular text after the scenario keyword, okay? And the purpose of the scenario keyword is to define this scenario, okay? What the steps are all about, we have to define in a single line, okay? So for each and every scenario, we have this scenario keyword followed by the text. Next. So to describe a specific scenario within the feature, we have to use a scenario keyword, okay? Uh, feature keyword will end with colon symbol, scenario also will end with a colon symbol, but uh, remaining keywords, like uh, there are a few other keywords, like uh, scenario outline will end with exam, uh, I mean scenario uh, scenario outline will end with a colon symbol, okay? Uh, these are the three keywords which end with colon symbol, but uh, coming to given, when, then, and, but, they are not going to end with, they are not going to end with, uh, you know, colon symbol, okay? so. Fine, let's go with the given. Next one is given. Given is used to describe the initial state or precondition of the scenario. For example, here, what is the initial state to uh, to, to test this particular scenario? Uh, what should be there? What is the predict site or initial, uh, initial condition? We should be on the login page. We should be na we should be navigated to login page and be there on the login page to perform these steps, right? This is a predict site step. So uh, before performing anything, any action on the application, whatever the thing that should be there to perform this action, that is nothing but a predict site. Okay. In this case, I navigated to login page as a predict site step. After I navigated to the login page, I can verify the login functionality with valid credentials, right? That such kind of predict site steps need to be mentioned after the given keyword. Okay. You see here also I navigate to login page here also given. Okay. User to define the initial state or precondition of the scenario. Next is a when. When is all about action? What action? What type of action we have to perform to perform the testing? For example, what will be the action in this case to check whether we are able to log in with valid credentials? The action point here is we need to enter email address into the email field. We need to enter a valid password into the password field, and we have to click on the login button. This is these three things are nothing but the actions. Okay, so when step will contain the actions. Okay, when 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 thing will contain the action. Okay, what action we have to perform to perform this testing? That is nothing but the when. But here, uh, I, I can uh, generally these three are wins only, okay? Because these three steps are all about actions. But instead of writing when this many times, I'll write and, okay? And I can write and. When I write and after the when, all these things will be belong to the when only, okay? As an extension, and will act like an extension. You see, you need to add additional steps for this when action thing. If you want to add more actions, okay? If you are, want to add more steps into the actions, you can. Continue this when with and okay. So these three things will be nothing but action part. Okay. 
So given I enter valid email address into the email field, then this is also an action. I enter valid password into the password field. This is also an action where I have to click on the login button. Without this action, test case, we, we will not be able to perform this testing of this scenario, right? So that is when. Then what is then? Then is nothing but the result. Okay. So with this predict side, when you perform this action, what is the result you are going to get? That result thing you have to write here. Then the result should be, I should get successfully logged in. The result should be, I should get a proper warning message. This is a nothing but a result. Okay. Outcome or result of the scenario should be written in the form of then after then keyword. Okay. Then there is something known as and which I already covered here, but and is not restricted to only when here also I can write. Okay. And, uh, and uh, I navigate to login page and uh, the page uh, uh, elements should be loaded properly. Something like this. I'm just writing some dummy thing. Okay. Don't worry. So here I can extend this given also. Okay. So these two things will given to, uh, will come under the three side steps. Okay. Because I can add any number of ands after the given. So and is not only specific to when, but also can be part of given after given. Step also, and will come to add more each side steps. We can add and after the given thing to add more uh, action steps. After the win, I can add and and uh, to add more, uh, you know, result uh, or uh, result or uh, outcome, outcome or result steps if I want to add. After then also, I should get successfully logged in and I should uh, see an option to uh, edit my account details. Okay, like this also I can write. Okay, I can add any number of ands. And can be accompanied not only with when, but also with given and then also. Okay, that is what is and. User to add additional steps into given when then steps is and. Now there is one more thing that is but. But is user to describe an opposite outcome. Okay, I should get successfully logged in, but okay, but uh, uh, some so and so, but uh, login option. Should not be displayed, but login option should not be displayed. You see, opposite outcome or uh, reverse outcome. Okay, you see, we uh, this kind of things. If you want to write, we have to accompany with but. Okay, I should get successfully logged in, but something should not happen. But something should not happen. Such kind of steps should be written under but. Something should happen under then, but something should not happen under but. Okay, it is also like and but. But opposite, okay. Something should not happen for such kind of steps. You have to write like. For something should happen. After then you will write, or uh, after then you will add and. For something should happen, you will write instead of and you will write but in case. Where you want to check where something should not happen, okay. This should happen, but this should not happen. This should happen should go under then and and. This should not happen should go under but. Hope you got the idea what uh, but keyword is used for, okay. Then we have scenario outline. For example, this is one scenario. And I, if I have to parameterize this scenario, uh, instead of passing the valid email address like this, okay, instead of not passing, we are not passing any email address from this step, right? We are not passing any valid, real valid email, uh, valid password from this step. But if I want to parameterize this, I have to convert this into scenario outline. And after that, here I will write down, say, email, like this, I have to parameterize. Valid password, say password like this. So the uh, scenario uh, using scenario outline, I can parameterize to these parameters in this particular. These are parameterized steps. To these parameterized steps, I can pass the data. I'll write examples. Examples also need to be ending with colon symbol. Okay, colon symbol. Under the examples, I can pass the data. So a at the rate uh, b dot com or a at the rate, uh, sorry, a at the rate uh, gmail.com. Okay, second one. So here I have to give, for the first thing, firstly, I have to give this email parameter name here and this password parameter name here to which I want to pass the data. Okay, to parameterize the test. Parameterization is nothing but you see there will be a method without any parameters, you know, in Java or something, right? Any language, there will be some methods which doesn't have any parameters. When you're calling that method, you don't have to pass any data, right? But there will be some methods. There can be one or two or three or four parameters or more parameters in that particular method declaration. And when you're calling that method, for each and every parameter in that method, you have to pass the data, that much amount of data you have to pass. Similarly, here also we can parameterize the scenarios with the help of scenario outline. First thing is that this keyword scenario outline 
has to be used if you have to, if you have the plans to parameterize this scenario, right? Then instead of scenario, we have to use scenario outline keyword. That is one thing. And uh, there's one more keyword here known as examples. In the examples, from the examples, we have to pass the data to this uh, parameterized steps, okay? To this email parameter, parameter we have to pass some email. A at the rate, uh, gm.com or gmail.com, gmail okay? gmail.com, colon, password, pass one. And uh, colon, B at the rate, just for sample, I'm creating the data. Here, how many sets of data you want to pass? You can pass. So with this, uh, with uh, not only parameterization, with the help of scenario outline and examples, data driven testing is also possible. Here, how many sets of data you provide, that many number of times the scenario will run. Okay. So scenario outline and examples are generally used together. Okay. Use it along with scenario outline for mentioning multiple sets of data, for passing the, for mentioning the data under it and passing them to the parameterized steps for the scenario outline type of scenario, which is meant for parameterization and data driven testing. We use examples. Okay. So use it for parameterizing a scenario, we use scenario outline. Uh, use it for mentioning the multiple sets of data that need to be pa uh, passed to the parameters of this uh, scenario outline type of scenario. We have to use examples keyword, okay? These are the different keywords. Uh, and uh, coming to the next keyword, that is background keyword. So here I'll be writing the background keyword, background. The colon here also. So this also will end with colon symbol. So there are few keywords which are ending with colon symbol. We have few keywords which are not ending with colon symbol. So why we have to use background? You see, in each and every, there are three scenarios in the same feature file. In the same feature file, there are three scenarios. And if you observe this predict set step, which is common, you see, the common, there's a common predict set step. In each and every scenario, there is a common predict set step, like I navigate to login page, I navigate to login page, I navigate to login. Instead of writing this step in each and every scenario, what I will do is, I'll just centralize it under the background keyword in the feature file level. And I'll remove it, uh, remove this step from every scenario, okay? So when you run this uh, feature file, right, using Cucumber and all, this background is going to run before every scenario, this background is going to run, okay? Be before this scenario runs, the background step is going to run, okay? Before this scenario, again, the background keyword is going to run. Instead of providing this background keyword in each and every scenario, I can centralize it at the feature file level under the background keyword. So hope you got the idea why background keyword is required for moving the common trick set steps across scenarios in a feature file under it, okay? So these are the different keywords uh, of Gherkin language, which Cucumber tool can understand for implementing the PGD thing. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.